Hi again, and welcome back to the video tutorial covering bottom-up assemblies for Top Solid 7. This is step 6. In step 6, we'll add the threaded rod to our assembly. In this case, we'll have to add a few different constraints to get it all hooked up and working. Let's see how it all works. Here what we're going to do is we're going to add the threaded rod, and I'm just going to do this using the drag and drop technique. I find that to be the most efficient way possible. Again, I'm going to use the quick positioning method of the constraint wizard, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this cylinder to that cylinder. Perfect. It's going to move up and down through there. Next, what I want to do is take this cylinder to this cylinder, and notice how the software auto corrects it. Finally, I'm going to take that flat face there to that flat face there, like that we now have the beginning of the constraint for this. Notice there's still a degree of freedom here. This can still spin, right? Notice also it's moving in and out. Perfect. So this is representative of how this is going to function. 